Peace family, this is Alpha One coming at you with a quick review of my duty belt. This is my personal duty belt. It's what I chose to go with after uh, maybe a year going with a cheaper brand. I chose to go with the Wolf Tactical. I've been using this uh, Wolf Tactical for about four years now. And it has withstand it everything that I've uh, done as far as training uh, it has the uh, double belt it's a double belt rig with a quick release quick release Cobra buckle very durable it's made of metal I use the inside belt as my EDC sometimes so it attaches uh, separate uh, once you put this inner inner belt on, then you can lay the outer belt outer belt over it. But I wear this as an EDC when I uh, conceal carry. I am uh, six foot, about two hundred and twelve pounds, and this is a large large belt. It fits fits me great, uh, and I still have room to adjust if necessary. Scorpion soft shell for my uh, AR mag. These have lasted for about. Oh wow, I've had these for a long time, maybe six years, six or seven years. Uh, they've been beat on pretty much, but I've never had a, a mag jump out. Uh, never lost a mag. They, they've never come attached once they've been attached to a belt. Uh, so they're pretty good. They're, um, they're not low budget, but they're not uh, in a high price range either. I'm more of a um, budget-friendly guy, so uh, I don't like low-end uh, material or low-end gear, but I kind of stay in that middle range. I try to stay in that middle range. Next up is my Sun Fire flashlight. It has 1100 lumens with different settings. Has a low setting, and that's a high setting. It's rechargeable, USB rechargeable. That's low, medium, medium, low, bright, and brighter. Uh, it also has a SOS feature, distress call. And you press it again, you have your slow. Distress or SOS. And turn it off by top button. And I keep it inside of my next torch flashlight holster with adjustable side lock lever. So you just place it inside and then pull the lever to close it. it stays in there doesn't jump out never had an issue with it uh, I've had this flashlight for two years I've had to recharge it three four times really don't use a flashlight much in the field unless we're doing some evening CQB but um, it's a pretty good flashlight medium budget flashlight and holster uh, next up is my Condor duck pouch, dump pouch as you see, it's been beat up pretty, pretty good too. Uh, but the threads are nice, it's durable. I use my dump pouch to hold an extra pair of gloves. They're in there somewhere. Uh, empty mags, uh, things that you come across during training. Uh, maybe a mag fell out of somebody's um, holster, mag holster, and. Uh, you pick it up for them, just dump, throw it in your dump pouch and give it back to them at the end of training or uh, right after the uh, next mission. Next up is my Live the Creed Responder IFAC. I won't go over the contents of my IFAC. This is not an IFAC review, this is just the contents of my duty belt but uh, it has uh, a tourniquet holder 
just pull it right out. It does rip away. Quick release buckle. Found that to be awesome. And this is made by Live the Creed. Uh, next up is just another uh, Crydex pistol mag, but I use it to hold my multi-tool. You never know when you might need a multi-tool out in the field. Working on something, nice pair of pliers. Screwdriver, flathead, knife. Never know when you need a good multi-tool. Next up is a Master USA fixed blade knife and sheath. Fit well, very light. Master USA makes some sharp blades, but I try to keep a blade sharp anyway. And lastly is my boomstick holder. This holds, this uh, holster is made by Kydex. Well, it's custom made by TR Holsters. It's a Kydex holster made by TR, host, TR Holsters. Uh, and it's, uh, it has a level two retention hood, thumb release. There we go. Push down and the hood flops up. Push down and push up for the hood release. And uh, it comes with a Safari Land QLS attachment and Safari Land UBL belt slot. It's a nice attachment. Very good, very durable. And this setup is made by TR Holster. I uh, forget the price. Wasn't too expensive. Uh, it's kind of medium range, uh, around 200 bucks. Um, maybe $20 shipping. I can't remember. But it's a good holster to have. Boomstick never jumped out. Uh, never lost retention. Has adjustable tent, uh, retention on the side. And the hood is just for extra safety. So yeah, that's my duty belt. That's just my setup. There's no right or wrong. My setup may be different from yours, but this is mine. Uh, if you feel like uh, you need to make adjustments, start with the belt and build around it along the way. And like I said, I've had this set up for a few years and this just goes to show that uh, medium, medium range pricing can hold up just as well as high end uh, gear. Uh, when it comes to, to IFAX, especially the tourniquet, you definitely want to go with something more on the high end. This is an American Rescue tourniquet uh, because you don't want to be in a position to uh, save someone's life and tourniquet snaps. And then you have to improvise to create another tourniquet. That's all I have for now, family. This is Alpha One, and I'm out.